Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Heroes Iron Man mode with Iron Phoenix, our level 18 martial arts super reflex scrapper. We are one level away, one actual level away from tying our guardian. Our guardian, I just checked, got to level 19.8, like right at the end of 0.7 when we were right over here. So if we can get to 19.8, we can fill this beat in one level above us we will exceed all of our other Iron Man runs, which is pretty awesome. So we're with, with Vitaly Chernenko, and we're going to see if we can get a story arc from him. He says he knows a computer hacker, so we're going to go with that. Save the hacker from the Tsu. Okay, so we're fighting the Tsu now. Okay, those guys can be a pain, and particularly the sorcerers are really frustrating to deal with. So I'm going to try to stun them. Um, hopefully that'll work better than trying to frighten them. Frightening them uh, didn't actually do a good job to stop them from teleporting, but I think stunning them will. Um, before we get in there, I do want to talk a little bit about enhancements. Um, because I, we got a couple of natural enhancement drops. We might get some from the Tsu also. I think they also drop like natural magic. Um... I'm not sure what they do when you get into ESO territory. I think they do natural. <clears throat> the council also drops, I think, natural. I believe that's true. I can never remember. And one of the reasons I don't remember is because it, it doesn't usually matter, right? Usually you just go buy them from wherever you want them, from wherever you need them, right? Um, okay, so we got a bunch down here that need to be sold, but I found another one of these high explosives, so I added that in. We now have a... Damage DO, that's a plus one to us, so it's adding 17% damage, which is pretty good. And um, I found this Endurance, the TA Kwai's Shard, which is a magic natural dual origin, and that's reducing the Endurance cost by 17%. I mean, that's not too bad. So we've actually got a couple of DOs on a few of our powers. They're not great. This one's low level and soon will become uh, red to us, but, you know, we're, we're getting a little bit of it filled in as we go and that helps and that means we don't have to buy as many and we can sell a few more the main issue here is going to be sorcerers um, I think I'm going to try to pull because if we run up we're going to probably aggro all of them so we'll try pulling these two I don't know if they'll all come yeah they all came anyway and we better put on practice brawler oh we're already asleep that could be bad all right practice brawler is on now yeah, that's really bad. Uh, let's hit this guy. Okay, so I messed up a little bit at the beginning there. I forgot that these yellow ink men could stun you. Or put you to sleep. And we almost died. And that was almost the end of this character. But fortunately... This character has enough staying power, enough toggles, enough defenses that we can handle it. We're lucky we didn't get double slept, right, one after another chain and then not be able to turn on Practice Brawler because that would have been the death of this character. Um, unfortunately, we were able to get it off and so we're just going to leave it on. It's going to hurt the endurance. There's nothing we can do about it. So now we have to save the hacker from the Tsu. Yeah, see, these guys, not only are they white, but they aren't going to do anything in terms of stunning. So we can turn off Practice Brawler. Technically, they can stun you with their Thunder Kick. That does have a slight chance of stunning, but it's really small. Um, if we look in the enhancements, detailed information, there's a 10% chance of a 2.0 mag. Very, very, very likely. Unlikely. <clears throat> okay, so there's a patrol coming. We don't want to aggro everybody. So let's get the nearest guy from the patrol. Let's see if we can get him in. Without aggroing the rest of them, because they're not chained to him. <clears throat> there we 
go. And that saved us being attacked by the patrol while we were trying to take out these guys. I'm going to go fairly slowly through this because having um, we're going to have to have practice brawler on a lot. We're going to need it for the sorcerers as well. So we kind of like don't really have a choice. If you run through it too fast, you can't possibly uh, survive in terms of the endurance. You you just completely run out of endurance. I'm going to let that guy get up. He's in the middle of the caltrops, and I don't feel like dealing with caltrops. Oh, he's dead. I thought I had... I thought I still was going to have to fight him. Okay, so there's an elevator over here. My guess is the hacker is going to be on the final level, so we'll keep going. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a yellow ink man up here. We'll put on practice brawler. We'll attack the guy in the back. The ink man will probably come. Maybe not. I love it. I love the animations. Here he is. Sorry, buddy. I have practice brawler on. Wow, what is with the missing? Okay, so... I don't know if... I, I guess this is a good enough set of inspirations. I don't think we need to change them out. I was think, considering whether I wanted to burn a red one and see if I could get another blue. I think I do. Hopefully we'll grab another blue. So what I'll do is anything else that comes in here, I'll just spend it immediately and um, we'll try to see if we can get a blue pill in there. And there's another elevator. We're not on a story arc, are we? We are not. So if it's not a story arc mission, I'm not going to worry about going through every little room. <clears throat> we just want to find the hacker. All we're trying to do with these missions pretty much is um, get ourselves to the story arc for Vitaly. Hopefully, he'll give us Dr. Vajalok. I don't know if he does. I don't remember. He might give us one of the Tsu arcs, but I'm not sure if the Tsu arcs start at this level or if you have to be level 20. Another miss. Wow, we're getting a lot of reds in our drops. This looks like the final room, so my guess is the hacker will be in here. Lots of Ancestor Spirits. Stunned him. The main purpose for doing that is that they like to... You see how he floated away, but he's defeated. They like to float away and turn intangible and then come back a little while later. Many of the ghosts do that, and they're that's a pain in the neck. I don't want to have to deal with that, so I try to stun them. And that prevents them from doing the little escape. There we go. So where is the hacker? Hmm. Maybe he's not in this room. We are getting close to level 19, guys. I just love kicking him off the balcony and watching him go flying. It's so cool.
Can we kick him off again? I want to try to kick him off again. Nope. Come on. There we go. Now I hear a glowy. Where is it? Next room over, maybe? Where the heck is it? Blow me? There it is. Oh, I guess we have to get the hacker over to that desk. So where's the hacker? Hmm. Oh, maybe the hacker is downstairs and we missed him. Okay. Well, at least we cleared this room. <clears throat> so now we'll go down to the second floor and see if we can find the hacker. I guess he's going to say you got to lead me to this computer on the, on the next level and then um, we'll bring him up there. And fortunately, since I went all the way up there first, everything's cleaned out. So maybe the hacker will be upstairs here. Oftentimes there are kidnap victims up here. Yep, there he is. Oh, and there's a boss. Hang on. Wasn't ready for that one. Most of the time, kidnappers are just minions. Sometimes lieutenants. It's not that often that they're bosses. All right. Get me back to my computer. Well, I know where that is now. Come on. I don't know if there are going to be ambushes here, but that's all right. Since we've defeated everybody else, the ambushes shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> and we know right where the desk is. We're pretty close to level 19. I hope you guys are enjoying this run. Um, I'm having a blast playing martial arts super reflexes, as you know. There's simply no better power set combo than those two. I just love them. And that's the story. All right, so let's return to Vitali. And see what else he's got for us. I really wish the homecoming guys, instead of changing super reflexes, particularly the way Practice Brawler works, I, I would like to say to them, I know they're not going to do this, because they're convinced that super reflexes, quote-unquote, needed to be fixed. I don't think it needed to be fixed at all. I'm, I, w I love the way it used to work, as you guys well know from the Silver Phoenix playthrough, and I was very happy with the way it worked. I particularly detest having yet another toggle to run as super reflexes. Um, and I, I detest the, the expense of it and the fact that I can't keep it on. Oh, that's just so annoying. Um, I wish they had, instead of changing super reflexes, they had just made something they could have called super duper reflexes. Let everybody else take that. But the few of us who liked super reflexes the way it was, we could have taken it the old way. <clears throat> okay, so defeat as many mystics as you can find or... Circle of Thorns in the sewers. So we're going to fight the Circle of Thorns in the sewers. And that means we're going to need to change up our loadout of inspirations. We definitely want more luck. But we're also going to need a lot more insight. So let's just do it kind of that way. Whoops. No. That way. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if four is going to be enough, but I don't know that we can afford not to bring healths and lucks with us. 
How long has this been? All right, so we're about halfway through this episode, so let's go ahead and auto-teleport to the mission door. <clears throat> Yeah, I much prefer Practice Brawler. You know, you could turn it on before a battle, let your endurance come back up to full. It will happen in a few seconds and PB lasts for two minutes, and then you can go fight the mob. And you don't have to pay the endurance during the battle of the very expensive toggle. It's just really frustrating that they made that change. Uh, you know, if they want to tweak a loot because they feel like people don't take it enough and it's not a good panic power, fine tweak that. It's just a panic power, but the bread and butter powers like Practice Brawler, uh, it's so frustrating. Anyway, nothing we can do about it. <clears throat> Interestingly, the ninjutsu um, defense is a click power and not a toggle. I can't remember what it's called. So, oh. Uh, there was a ghost. I was looking for him, and I didn't see him. I heard him. All right, so we're going to use Focus Chi here and try to get this guy out. And there's a case of Thunder Kick stunning him. Oh, and we've leveled up. That's going to super help. So we should have no problem in this mission since we have leveled up. We're level 19 now, guys. <clears throat> We're not on a story arc, just checking. Okay, so force mages aren't so bad. The ghosts are much worse. You know, when I first started playing this, um, the stun for Thunder Kick, I think, used to be a little bit better. <clears throat> I think it was like a maybe a 25% chance rather than a 10% chance to do a mag 2 stun. <clears throat> and um, so the stun was a little bit better. It happened a little more frequently. And, you know, it the stun lasts for a defined amount of time. I don't know, 10 seconds, whatever it is. But they didn't have any of the tool tel tip help, so you, you didn't know, you know, how long it was going to last or any of that. And you're doing all these really fast attacks with martial arts right so early on when I was first doing martial arts during live and I would stun somebody with thunder kick and then like kick him a couple times and then the stun would stop I actually thought that attacking them and hitting them doing damage undid the stun like it, in other words they would stay stunned until you hit them and then they would like recover from it and so I would actually try to change targets because I thought it would make the stun last longer. It doesn't, but I thought it would. I was just didn't quite understand how it worked. All right, let's take off Practice Brawler because it's eating up our endurance. Oh, boy. Three Spectral Knights, and I have aggroed them. All right, so we're going to definitely need at least one. Accuracy, inspiration. Right there, we're at minus 10 to hit right now. Ghostling X does extra damage, which is awesome. I thought this was a dead end, and I was just walking down here to map it out. <laughs> I didn't realize these guys were in here. Now he's going to vanish, right? Oh no, he's disoriented, so he can't vanish. Oh my gosh, do you see how many hits it's taking? Fortunately, he's disoriented. Or he would have just run away. But yeah, they're super resistant to us. And those guys would have been yellow cons if we hadn't leveled up, and it would have been even harder. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I mean, I would say if they wanted to make a change to Super Reflex to make it better, don't do anything with Practice Brawler. What they could have done was something like what they did with Ninjutsu, right? In Ninjutsu, they have a heal power. Super Reflex could easily use a heal power. And to give themselves room for the heal power, they gave they made the toggle for the ranged and the AoE the same toggle. Basically, you turn it on, and both AoE and <clears throat> ranged defense are engaged. So they could have just made one of the toggles. They could have left three different passes, but just just make one of the toggles have dual functionality, right? So focus senses could just be both range and AOE, and replace evasion with a heal. Done. And I've just fixed super reflexes. I didn't. You didn't have to make any of the other changes that they made to fix it. At least in my opinion, just give us a heal. It's super helpful to have that, <clears throat> and that's really all you need. So let's make sure, I just want to make sure I've got, ooh, didn't mean to get stuck there. I just want to make sure I've got this map completely done because I don't want to wonder if I missed a spot. Particularly, I didn't want to wonder if there was like another opening there. So now I know. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't think they needed to do anything with Practice Brawler. I don't think they needed to do anything with, with Elude. I think what they needed to do was just give us a heal like they have in Ninjutsu. And again, it's super easy. Just just merge one of the either merge the passives, the range passive with the AoE, or merge the toggles, and you're done. That gives you the extra power. And if you want a second power, merge merge both the passive and the toggle. I think that would do much more for fixing super reflexes than turning Practice Brawler into a freaking toggle, which there's absolutely no reason to do. Especially a very expensive toggle that kills your endurance. Because at its base, I think it uses more, doesn't it? At its base... Practice Brawler uses 0.26 a second. No, it's about the same as the other toggles. So now you have to run four toggles. They basically increased the endurance cost per second by 33%, right? From 0.75, from point whatever, 0.78 a second to almost one a second, to over one a second. And... Um, that it doesn't work any better than just having it be an auto click power. And there's the boss. So let's get our luck going and let's increase our two hit. Got to get rid of these ghosts because they're going to debuff me too much. Okay, we got rid of him, and now it's me and you, buddy. Uh, we've still got another ghost. Let's try the ghost slaying axe on him. Put on practice brawler. Put on practice brawler. We do have the clockworks we could have summoned, but we should be okay against this guy. 66% chance to hit, and I'm whiffing like that. Ugh. And this boss is rough for a minus one. But we got him. So who else is left? Oh, there must be guys down this tunnel. How are we doing on enhancements? We have even more. Damage resistance. 
Wow. Okay, so we're going to make some money when we get out of this mission, too. And the other thing that's awful about these um, debuffers is they often come in spawns of three, right? So it's not just that <clears throat> one of them can debuff you, but they're triple debuffing you, right? They're hitting you with... Uh, all three of them are hitting you, and they're reducing your chance to hit by a lot. You can take Practice Brawler off. <clears throat> Okay, so there's one more guy. Here he is. No, you don't. Oh, he's a pain. Got him. Running ghosts that can de-solidify and turn invisible when you're in a defeat-all mission are incredibly annoying. Because, like, under normal circumstances, like, good, run away, I don't care. But in a mission like this, you have to care because you have to defeat them. It won't let you complete the mission if you just click all the glowies and beat the boss. Right? Let's do a little extra damage to offset the damage reduction that they have. Last glowy. I don't know why it's making me click on glowies when it's just a defeat all mission, but um, oh boy, and there is a lieutenant. He's going to be a pain with only one accuracy uh, inspiration, but nothing we can do about it. <clears throat> I'm going to turn practice brawler back on. I'm going to turn focus senses on because I don't know if his attack is a ranged attack. We're going to shoot him from a distance. And then try to just go in and get him. And look at this. Down to a 50% chance base to hit. Go sling axe. Come on. Got him. All right. We can now take off these guys so that we don't use too much endurance. And see this, playing around, micromanaging which ones are on, which ones are off, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, that's the original design of the game, right? They expected you to be doing all of that microing with your character all the time, right? Not just when you're first level or fifth level or whatever. They wanted you to do it through the whole game. And, like, I don't want to do it through the whole game. I want to be able to just turn the toggles on and leave them on. But you definitely need SOs for that. And you need stamina to have SOs in it. So that you can double the rate of, at which endurance recovers. Are you still alive? Okay, so there are a few more archers and a Spectral Knight over there. I'm going to wait for my Endurance to recover, so I'll bring you back when our Endurance bar is full. Alright, folks, we're back. We're going to use our accuracy, last Accuracy Inspiration to get the Spectral Knight. And this is the end of this mission, it looks like. Last blow. Mission complete. And we're now level 19. We've tied our guardian. And if we get nine more be seven more beads, we'll beat our guardian. Level 19.7.
something. Almost 19.8. He was just under 19.8. So if we can get to 19.8, we win. Let's call Vitaly. Okay, we still don't have a story for him. Let's go level up. Come on. And then I need to stop. Where am I? We're right there, okay. Still have not sold any of the, uh, in, uh, either of the salvage that I put up on the auction house. Don't have any other special salvage, so we just need to sell everything. Uh, but we'll do that off screen for now. I just want to level up. I'll show you which slots we're going to take, and then we will stop for this episode. Guys, I hope you're having fun with this. This character has done better than all my other Iron Man characters. Okay. Focus fighting is done for now. Agile, practice brawler, focus senses is going to need stuff. We're done over here. Uh, I want focus chi, and we'll start on focus senses. So that'll be it for focus chi. That's now done. All right, folks, I think we're going to stop here. Until next time, I am Scrapperlock. And this has been Iron Man Mode, City of Heroes on the Rebirth server.